Look at the sandwich. You can see the egg down in there. The yolk kind of broke. This is a big breakfast sandwich from Wayne's in Lawton. They are so awesome. That is a good one. If you ever go to Wayne's, check out your big breakfast sandwich. This one has bacon. So good. My dear, it is dusty, dusty, dusty. We need some rain, but that's what I'm trying to do is get a little wheat in the ground. Get some old trash wheat just to get them something for the winter time. Down here where we hunt and camp. And uh wait, there's a tree there's that tree stand that'll put up. But anyway, I'll show you when we get it down here and then uh maybe tomorrow or sometime I think. Wednesday is supposed to rain and uh, I'll try to get a little weed in the ground and get some sprout. Alright guys, I got this trailer yesterday from Big Boss Trailers in New Newcastle, Oklahoma. It's a pretty nice trailer. It's got that new hitch on it. New kind of hitch. Uh, spare is extra, but they're not really that bad they're cheaper than what a tire would actually be probably uh pretty impressed with it so far i forget what kind of oil st uh stain or whatever treatment they put on the top here uh he said it's supposed to shed water really good uh that's a coyote nx 5510 to give you a reference of what size tractor is on this trailer. This is a 26 foot, it's 24 foot flat deck and a two foot slight dovetail. And I was tossed up between the slide in ramps or the uh, these top ramps, the fold up ramps. But this is the only one he actually had on the lot at that time he can get anything you want but uh his name is clint uh he's a veteran and uh if you're in need of a trailer you might look him up it's uh big boss trailers in newcastle i thought he gave me a fair deal on it i mean i've been looking for trailers for quite a while i mean it comes to a point a trailer is a trailer i guess but I wanted one that had the 7,000 pound axles, so it'd be about 14,000 GVW. Uh, and I think I'm gonna actually like those ramps. I can take them off or I can leave them on. I've got several places, actually both the main places that I go with this. I, I got a ditch or whatever I can back up to and don't even need a ramp really. But I'm also planning on using this, not only for my tractor, but to haul my corn and those totes. If y'all seen what the last my last trailer did to the side of my pickup <laughs> after it broke. <clears throat> but I figure I'd just go I don't have to get all my corn at one time. I can make two trips or whatever. But uh yeah, it's looks like a pretty nice trailer. It pulled good all the way home. Uh didn't even really know it was back there, you know. Actually I'd forget every now and again. Uh and he checked my lug bolts. He said, you know, after so many miles, you ought to check them, which we all, we all do that anyway uh, on all your equipment because you never know, you know, when something comes loose, especially like your tractors, your loader bolts on your tractor frames. Because if you use your loader very much, that is just constant back and forth. I mean, that's constant pressure on that thing, a lot of pressure. So anyway, and it has, I believe, one brake axle. Uh, of course, has the breakaway brake system. You know, on your for your has a little battery pack and all that. 
like if your trailer come loose and it's supposed to activate your brakes all that it's a it's a top of the line trailer i mean it's a nice trailer it has the the big jack on it i do plan on mounting me a winch somehow around here and maybe a little toolbox uh, the jack is right in the center so you might have to mount the winch a little to the side or either behind it i really don't want to take up no floor space if i don't have to because i could put my rototiller up here or my bucket or whatever it carry whatever i need and i'm glad i went with the 26 foot because the 24 foot would have had a two foot shorter deck and i the way I like to load my trailer is I like to get on it and barely put a little tongue weight on it. Some people like to put all the weight on the tongue. I, that's unsafe, in my opinion. You want it to be just as you start, just as you start, you know, putting weight on your tongue. That's where I kind of like to stop. Uh, you want a little weight on the tongue. If you have any weight on the back, if you have too much weight on the back end, then it's lifting your back end up and you're gonna you fish tail and have all kinds of problems. If you have too much weight on it, it's going to pull the front of your pickup up off the ground or, you know, lighten it. So that's the way I like to do it. I like to just pull. So this is, I think, is going to be perfect with the the uh, brush hog on there. Uh, it's not sticking over really any farther than the ramps. I mean, the wheel just barely does. I put it on there and I backed it up. Um, I could probably come in a little bit more farther forward. I believe it's 80 inches in between the fenders can't remember now uh, but I think it's gonna work out great for what I need I was kind of worried about the back end being too long being a 26 because I have pulled a 24 before and uh, actually that's what I hauled this home on was a 24 and but I think this is gonna be the cat's meow this is gonna be all right I think uh, this is the first time in my life I've ever had a new trailer me and my wife was talking about it on the way home we've worked all of our lives and you save and scrimp and you know it comes a point every now and again you just you know it's nice to be able hopefully this thing's gonna be durable and last me and uh something you can just hook onto and go I mean, you know, you got to do your regular check your bearings, you know, every now and again and things like that. But, and there's not that much that can go wrong with the trailer. But the floor, my other trailer, it just had a bearing go out. The floor is falling off. The, it's not long enough. It's only like an 18. You can barely even get the tractor on it. The brush hog was hanging off. The, you know, I'd have to leave my uh, bucket up over my pickup. I mean, it, it just not really safe for pulling a tractor you know what i'm saying this is going to be i think pretty darn nice uh another thing you gotta watch out is when you're hauling tractors is so the door the wind doesn't catch it and blow the door open and break it off uh i don't know if y'all else watch outdoor with the morgans he had that happen to a little kubota he said the first time he's ever had it happen and he's hauled tractors all of his life but one time <laughs> and it's expensive but it's got, I believe, the six inch channel. Let me get a tape measure right here, real quick, and just do some measuring to, sh to show y'all. I don't want to lie to you. Oops, come on, tape measure. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's got the six inch channel. Uh, see how wide it is in between the fenders? Oh, come on. Now I got it hung. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got it hung over there. Okay, it's 83 in between the fenders. 83. So that is 6 foot 11 inches in between the fenders. That's pretty good. I mean, that's probably standard. I don't know. Like I say, the deck is 24, and then the dovetail is two, and I believe it has five foot ramps, I think. Hang it on there. 
yeah, your five foot ramps. And they are spring assist. Let's see, I'm kind of, I may have my, uh, mower up against that one a little bit. It's got these little keepers on there. Okay, just lay that little bar down. Need a spring assist. Just let it fall. There you go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice ramps. My tractor, it just went right up there. Of course, no problem. I think it's gonna work out awesome. And uh here we go. It's got these uh you just slide that on that little knob. It's got this little keeper pin that keeps it in there. Oops, I go down before I run. There we go. Keeps it down there. Uh, looks like all the LED lighting. Uh, it's just a nice trailer. Uh, maybe after I use it for a while, I'll do a review on it. See how it's holding up, but uh, some people say, well, don't get a wood floor. Yeah, if you get a metal floor, it's a lot higher. And I don't think any of them anymore have just the best wood in the world on them. This looks pretty good. I'm sure they're all using cheap wood and everybody's trying to make money. You know what I'm saying? But this, and this is like a, I would call it, I guess like a gun metal gray. It's not a black. It may look black here. But it's it's got a metallic. You can see the metallic in it, and it's gray. It's a dark gray. It looks really good, especially out in the sun. And uh, here's my little Coyote tractor. That thing has been an awesome little beast. I'm not sure how much that weighs. I'll probably I'll run across the scale and weigh it all, and see. Anyway, here's my trailer. Give Clint a holler at. Uh, Big Boss Trailers. I don't. I'm not. He's not sponsoring me or promoting me or anything like that. I don't know anything about him except he was did us. He was an awesome guy to deal with, and uh, he's a veteran. And that's about all I need to know. He's he seemed like a real legit guy. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, pretty excited. I've never had a new trailer before in my life. And, uh, anyway, uh, you can get on his website, Big Boss Trailers, uh, in Newcastle. Did I say Norman? Newcastle, Oklahoma. Right, right up Oklahoma City. Uh, check him out. Sorry about the wind. We got a sorry about the wind. We got a trap here uh, on this side of the road. Put another trap. You see a trail right there where they've been coming underneath. Put the corn out here the other day and I ate it. So hopefully we'll see what happens tonight. We're gonna set this one. Take it right around the corner down here and set it. Look at this little guy right here. He was just born not too long ago, probably. I guess stay here last night. Oh, isn't that cool? How can you not like a baby calf? That is just so cool. 
He gave me some breakfast. Look, guy. Look, watch out, mom. <laughs> oh man, I love this stuff. Isn't that awesome? Yep. Well, guys, we're at where I caught the 180. And last night, that big trap over there, all those little bitty pigs was out in front. And right that bale right there, there was at least three big hogs. Or bigger, you know, like probably 100 plus. So, I was saying about moving these traps, but there's still pigs coming around. And pigs finally found the one that I moved last weekend that I thought it was going to be a slam dunk and maybe have pigs before I got home. But nothing showed up till last night. I'm like, wow. And when I look on the camera, I could see one in the trap and one outside the trap. But like we've seen, there's probably 20 or 30 hogs there in that group. And then while I was... I went out and sat at the creek last night uh, where I deer hunt and probably 20 to 30 or so come through there. That was pretty cool. Maybe I'll put up a little bit of footage of that. Anyway, I'm sorry there's not a lot going on right now. I'm trying to get it, get it going, but uh, they're just not cooperating. We're supposed to get possibly six inches of rain this weekend. It's supposed to rain today, Saturday, Sunday and Monday so we'll see we sure need the rain I hope it comes slow enough it doesn't flood everything but we'll see what happens y'all have a great week a great weekend appreciate you guys okay guys I don't know if you can see them but the hogs are coming in down here right right there through this window and it's kind of hard. But they're heading over to my Peter. They just run off my deer.
it's kind of bougie to get into 